Hi everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel today. I am so excited to show you this brand new fabulous birthday card bundle. You can purchase the SVG files over at my SVG shop at shop.lauriewhitlock.com and you can also buy the files individually over at the Silhouette Design Store for your Silhouette machine. So I just wanted to show you each of these cards talk about them just a little bit and I'll even give you a few tips on putting them together. Um, I'm not going to do a full tutorial on each one because most of them are pretty straightforward and the ones that you're going to need a little help on I do have a full tutorial for like this hexagon pop-up card and then I'm going to throw a few tips in um, for some of the other styles that you'll see here today. So let's just start here at the top left. We've got this adorable birthday cake card. It's a card that folds down the middle and obviously I'm not able to fold it right to the very edge so the front hangs over just a little bit. So you're going to cut one large brown layer that overhangs and goes all the way up and reinforces those candles so they're nice and sturdy. Um, then you're just going to layer on your frosting layers and your candles and the little flames and all the lettering and the stars. So it makes a really simple and really adorable birthday card. Uh, I hope you enjoy making that one. It's so, so cute. And that's kind of what I was thinking with this collection. I was trying to make some cards that are a little more simple, um, yet really pretty. So some, there's a variety. I mean, some of them are a little more complicated, but there are some here that are quite simple. Like for instance, this one is just a card base and a mat and then this white layer that includes the ribbons or the strings for the balloons along with the banner and then you just layer on the blue pieces and the happy birthday saying and then the three balloons so it's really quite easy so if you're looking to do a birthday card quickly uh, that's a great one to grab so as i go through these i'm just going to set them off to the side we've kind of talked about those two already um, this one's another fairly simple one. It's an A2 sized card, fits in an A2 envelope. It's just a cute background layer that would be darling cut out of a pattern paper. And then it's layered up with this darling cake and a little happy birthday sentiment. And just a little tip for you, if you're really in a hurry and you don't have time to do all the layering, all these flowers and everything, you could just go ahead and flatten that, turn it into a print and cut and just print and cut the entire front panel to make a quick birthday card. Of course, it's really, really cute when you get all those layers and you could even add some pop dots and some dimension if you wanted to. Okay, let's talk about another one that's fairly simple. We've got this adorable gumball machine. I love gumball machines. So it says happy birthday and when you open it up, there's a sentiment included that says have a ball on your birthday. So again, we've got this card base that's cut a little short because it's impossible to go all the way to the top with the circle up there. And then I also had to cut it a little shorter than here because it wouldn't fit on a normal size sheet of paper. That's kind of pushing the limits. I believe that's 11 and a half inches. So uh, that's kind of a limitation on some of the cutting machines. So then you're just gonna layer up the blue and the red and all the cute little embellishments of the balls and the top. And then the happy birthday sentiment is again a print and cut piece that you can layer on and use to put a sentiment on your card. Super fun and super cute. Okay, let's see which one's next. Let's talk about this one real quick. This one's a five by seven sized card and it's a fun fold card. It's just got some interesting folds to it. So just kind of, if you're having trouble folding it, take a look at this video and study it closely. But it's one flat sheet and you just pop that center section down and the side section comes up and then go ahead and install your banner across there and layer up your candles and you'll also complete a print and cut for this happy birthday sentiment piece and you could even put another panel over here where you write um, a message to your person that you're sending this birthday card to um, there's a lot of fun things you could do to embellish this card and make it your own uh, by customizing the pattern papers or different things. I think that one's just a fun, fun fold card. I love it. Okay, um, I've done quite a few hexagon pop-up cards in the last couple of years, and this is another darling variation. It's got this beautiful pop-up cake and this balloon scene in the back here with this happy birthday sentiment up front. I do have a tutorial on how to put these together. This is my newest design with the little clips on the side that help 
just hold everything nice and tight and in place. Um, there's another design that doesn't have those clips. Um, it works well also, but this is probably my preferred method because I do like those little clips that hold everything in place. So some people call these platform pop-up cards. Um, they are just such a fun design and I hope you go over and take a look at that tutorial. I can link it here in this video in the description um, over to the hexagon pop-up card tutorial so you can watch that if you're having any trouble assembling this card. The main variation would just be these three layers that you're putting down into those slots and um, that video will really show you exactly how to do that. That leaves us with these last four cards. Um, this one is a simple box card. It just rolls flat for mailing, fits in a five by seven envelope and pops open into its 3D form for your birthday uh, person that you're sending your card to. So I think this one would also be adorable done for other celebrations like graduation is coming up. You could customize those balloon colors for a graduation, uh, maybe a high school color or college color scheme. Um, you could just remove the happy birthday sentiment and add your own congratulations or happy graduation or something like that. This one's a basic box card. You're just going to form the box and then there's two insert pieces with glue tabs on the side that you slide down. Make sure that as you're gluing those in you're able to roll your card flat in both directions and then you'll have an excellent result when you're done. I do have a shaped box card 101 tutorial on the blog that can walk you through that. I also have some various box card uh, videos as well. Okay, let's talk about the Wish card. I love this card. It's a cute A2 card. This little cluster of presents here on the front would, front would also make a darling print and cut if you don't want to layer all those up, but so, so cute layered up out of different pattern papers. You can also put a pattern on this little covering panel uh, to make a cute mat there on the front. And then when you open it, it says sending you a birthday wish. So this piece here is a print and cut piece to get the sentiment on here. You could also stamp something if you wanted to, but the wish pops up and the little letters cut right through. So it just shows through to the white behind. So there's no fiddling around gluing those individual letters on. Um, this is a fairly simple design. I'm going to show you how to pop, make the pop-up birthday cake in a moment. And it's done with that same method. It's quite simple. Each of these boxes just fold forward and down while the base folds back and glues down to the card base. So I love, love this card, the little presents and sending you a birthday wish. So, so cute. Okay, I'm gonna set that one aside and we'll move on. The next one we have is this happy birthday card with this balloon cluster, which I think is so beautiful. And it glues onto a basic five by seven card base that's die cut in just the perfect shape for our balloon cluster. But I wanted to keep this apart for a minute just to show you. The card base is actually a print and cut. It's got all the little string pieces printed out and the happy birthday is printed on there. And then the holes for each of the balloons are cut out and there's layers for each of those balloons for you to cut out of pattern papers or whatever you want to cut them out of. And then you just glue them on the back in the right positions and then flip it over and then they're peeking through in exactly the right position. There's no fiddling around with getting those placed perfectly on the front. And then you just put your little bow here at the bottom and then you'll glue this entire piece onto the card base just like that. So you have this darling card with this beautiful array of different shaped balloons and I love it. Again, I think this would make an adorable happy graduation or baby celebration done in all the right colors and just change that sentiment out. So that leaves us with one more card. We've got this beautiful Let's Celebrate intricate die cut cover on this card. And then when you open it up, we have this beautiful 3D birthday cake that pops up. I think this is a fantastic card. It would be really fun to, mod or to um, add a name to the top to kind of customize it for somebody's birthday. Um, we could do that with a print and cut if you wanted to or hand draw that on. But um, 
I think this is such a fun card and I'm going to actually show you how to fold this section of the card. It looks complicated, but I think you're going to be pleased with how simple it actually is. So this is just basically a blue card base that's a five by seven. We've got this intricate cut piece with this extra little topper on the uh, banner right here that says let's celebrate. You also have this white piece here and this white piece. This bottom one is a print and cut. The pink layer, however, is the layer I'm going to show you right now. It looks like this. It's all one piece and it's got all the right cuts and all the right square lines for you to make this pop up. And you will glue this pop up directly onto the blue card base and then you'll layer on top the two white pieces and the top of the cake if you choose to. And that'd be cute done out of a pattern paper as well. So let me show you this card base really quick. You'll notice on the two sides there's some score lines. We're going to start with those two score lines and this is one of those where you just have to kind of work carefully with the card. You're going to fold those score lines forward and you're going to fold this top of the cake score line backwards. So let's just work really carefully on the top of that cake real quick and in the middle of our card we can find those score lines and kind of pop those back. You can kind of see it's starting to take a little bit of shape. At the top of the cake, there's these score lines that need to be folded down. I think once you do one of these, it'll get a little bit easier. It is just a little bit fiddly though when you get started. So let's see. Let's start, go down to the bottom of the cake and push those forward. You kind of just have to get in there and just work with each of those folds a little bit and get it to start taking shape. Now I'm going to go to the top of the cake. Let's see what angle is the best here. We need those to start folding forward as well. Let's see. We'll lay this down on the table. If you can just get a little pinch on each of those, that will help. Notice how I'm not really trying to fold it all at once, just trying to pinch each of those score lines in the right direction. So it's kind of like the top of the cake is going to be a flat table in our card. You can kind of see it starting to pull forward like it should. Now once it starts doing this, you can get behind each of these from the back. Give them a good press forward. And the middle of the card can go ahead and get folded that direction and it starts to give way and you can just fold your card all the way in half. Grab a bone folder and just give everything a really good press. I'm just using a little tool by iCrafter that's got a flat edge on it. Works really nicely for getting little, little folds like this. I'm going to kind of pull this back and see if I can get a good crease on all those inside folds. Okay, and there we have it. That's how the middle of that card folds with our cute cake. It looks so complicated, but it really is simple. You just have to have a little patience as you work with those folds and get them all heading in the right directions. So again, you just um, fold it like this and glue it inside of the blue card base. It just tucks inside the card base. You'll only glue on this U shape here. Don't get any glue on the pieces that are folded in there. And then you'll put glue on this whole portion. And then you can just put it in the card base and make sure it folds nice and flat. And that's how your card's gonna be made. Okay, just make sure not to get any glue on any of the pieces that need to move but you can get them here on this and that will help hold that card in place inside the card. So I hope you guys love these cards as much as I do. Birthdays are so much fun to celebrate and we're always looking for cute birthday cards. And that's what inspired me on this collection. It's just fun to have a variety. Um, you can do exchanges with your friends. Um, you can make a variety of different types of cards. It's always fun to have new ones uh, for each birthday season. So I hope you have fun making these. 
I um, appreciate you guys visiting the YouTube channel today and purchasing my files, following along on all of our tutorials and our blog. Be sure to sign up for our newsletter. We send out um, inspiration and tutorials and um, announcements of all of our new products and videos, things like that. So if you want to stay up to date, be sure to sign up for our, um, our newsletter over when, when you're visiting our shop at shop.lauribitlock.com. I hope you have a lovely day and I hope you have fun crafting and making these beautiful birthday cards. Bye-bye.